Lake Ohet is not known to many, even though it's the deepest and oldest lake in Europe. I never knew it existed, and to be honest, I didn't even know North Macedonia was a country until they were on the list of countries allowing visitors during COVID. I believe that no place should feel invisible and that every story should be heard. And there's no better way to explore Lake Ohet than by boat. We're on a boat exploring Lake Ovet today. And just relaxing on a slow cruise through the day. Yes, but lately with like work and traveling and just trying to get everything done, we've been very unprepared. So we kind of just got on the boat, not sure what's happening today. Everybody's wearing their swimming stuff. We didn't pack any swimming stuff. <laughs> So we're at the Bay of Bones Museum. They made like all these little islands to protect them from the bears and the... Oh, so kitschy. So kitschy. Taking it all the way back to the prehistoric times of Lake Ohrid. In the years 1200 to 600 BC, people lived on a platform in the water made out of about 10,000 wooden piles known as pile dwellings. The remains of this settlement was discovered and excavated by an underwater team between 1997 and 2005. It was reconstructed to show how the homes of the people looked back then. This rock is a famous jump spot. The water is about 5 to 7 meters deep, so I think you need a lot of guts to jump from here. <laughs> Some places on the lake can only be reached by boat, like Holy Mother of God Zamuska. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, which was built in the year 1299. Its architecture and frescoes has quite a significant place in history as it was very different to other bolts and paintings during that time. You will also find locals fishing and swimming here, so you'll feel right at home. at Swetinau, you'll find an incredible clear fresh water spring that runs into Lake Ovid. I've never seen such clear water in my entire life. We're unsure how this like two or three trees down <laughs> chilling here. We're unsure how this happens happened. This place is like packed and full and it's so hard to get shade. We had we had a lovely lunch and then we wanted to go come chill on the beach. Beach but it's so packed and there's no shade and we found this place and they have these seats on the water and there was one open in the shade yeah basically literally don't know how this happened so we're so lucky now we just wait for cocktails honestly couldn't have asked for like now a we better have, we have to have lunch again because it looks like a nice place on the beach we had lunch in the springs now we can have lunch on the beach oh yeah. thank you Oh, word. I said it was a very long
long and tough week work-wise. It was, but now we get to sit on a beach today. And we did, and then we, this spot is just like heaven. If, this makes like everything okay. Because in the week you're like, why? Why, why are we doing this? Why? And then you come here like for a weekend and you're like, this is why. Yeah. You see like the most amazing places and have the most amazing experiences and it's like, yeah. Like, we're gonna have to it was worth it. We're gonna have to come back here tomorrow to swim in the spring zone. Really? Yeah. So I want, to, I want to swim here, yeah, it's so cool. This is like a spring. Suti Naum is named after the monastery that was built here in the year 905 by Saint Naum, who is also buried in this church. This area actually used to belong to Albania for a few years, until Albania gave it to Yugoslavia, of which North Macedonia was a part of at the time, as a gesture of goodwill. Orange is actually such a nice place and we've really been enjoying it and we could stay here for a month or longer. It has like this little bit of like a Italy vibe in the tiny streets with the, mm. with the food places and people just like laying on the beach and or beach. It's just, it's just, like, it's just the capital we didn't like. Yeah. So everything bad we probably said in the Skopje videos about how we don't like North Macedonia, come to Ored, it's awesome. Just like spend like a day in Skopje when you land and then you come yeah. to Ored, it is so nice. So one thing we haven't seen in North Macedonia is the Ored Monastery, which is like the thing on all the photos. So we decided to walk there after spending all the day on the boat, <laughs> but it is further than thought. And we are still walking. It's beautiful, but it's hot, but it's still walking. If you want to help the stray animals of the world, for the price of a takeaway coffee, you can feed a stray animal somewhere in the world. Go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Kinfolk Travels to help a stray animal. Like you see photos of places and but you don't see the context around it or you see like a cut video and you don't see like the background of it so it's also interesting to see a place that's like famous on photos in its environment like I didn't know there'd be so many boats and beaches I thought it's much more high and more serene I mean it's beautiful and serene but it's much more lively than I thought it'd be and a lot of other places like Pamukkale you you think it's like just this white but on the other side it's like a uh, mountain and green and trees you wouldn't expect that so that's always like very interesting the other perspectives some parts of Ored looks like an Italian summer on the coast you wouldn't think you're in a landlocked country at the moment but rather on the Italian beach In the middle of the wedding, but it's also my food came in. I'm not sure how to eat this, but also this wine this is old town. It's a COVID party. We're trying to find an ATM to buy cash. Like get cash. Right here on the corner. I'm so tired of having to go get cash. We're walking home late at night. It feels more like tiny Italian streets than. North Macedonia. 
If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if not, subscribe to see how and why we get denied entry at the border to the second newest country in the world, even though we had everything we needed in place. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you next week again.